Sennelec is a key actor for electrotechnical standardization in Europe. One of the fundamental tasks of European standardization is to remove technical barriers to trade. The success of the European international market is built around the free and safe trade of products, to which European standardization, so Senelec, plays an essential role. Senelec standards reduce barriers to trade by harmonizing requirements for products, hence influence international trade activities too. Electrical and electronic products today represent the largest category of goods worldwide. According to UN statistics, about 20% of the world trade is generated by these products. Senelec members are committed and contribute heavily to international standardization activities from the IEC, the International Electrotechnical Commission. Hence, the strong link of Senelec with the IEC is an asset for the international competitiveness of our industry. With my experience in standardization and conformity assessment, I would like further to promote Senelec in this existing environment. Senelec is currently developing its strategy 2030, and I have the opportunity to participate in the discussion around this drafting. And for me, four main challenges for European standardization have emerged. Firstly, we must ensure that the core principles of standardization, such as voluntary use and consensus-based development of standards, are maintained. Secondly, the digitalization of European industry needs the support of Senelec through the development of new standards. But also that the digitalization of standardization itself is important. This concerns processes, products and services, which have to be rapidly advanced. Third challenge will be to keep electrotechnical standardization internationally oriented in the future, as the electrical engineering market is first and foremost an international market. The fourth challenge is to continue the success story of the last 30 years of the EU internal market through close cooperation between the European Commission and standardization. In addition to that, we will have to face further challenges in the coming months and probably years, due to the current COVID-19 crisis, as well as the increasing global competition and the result of Brexit negotiations. The success story of the European single market is based on the EU new legislative framework, the so-called NLF. Regulation, standardization for the technical specification of regulations, and market surveillance play a major role in this system. As a supporting measure, conformity assessment also helps in providing the proof that a product meets the regulatory requirements. This allows the industry to place its products safely on the European market. The interesting thing about the NLF is that the legislation defines the essential requirements for a product. But for the individual product, the technical details are specified by consensus-based standardization that means by technical experts from Europe. This interaction between the regulators and the standardizers allows the safety requirements of a product to be quickly adapted and flexible to innovations. In line with the common position of the European industry shaping a new deal for the single market, I also believe that harmonized European standards are critical for the functioning of the internal market and the competitiveness of European industry. Senelec remains at the heart of economic development and technical innovation, and our standards can support European policy, in line with the Green Deal on issues such as artificial intelligence, smart energy, smart manufacturing and smart home. 